Hey, Bobby here with Coder Foundry, and I wanted to show you something I discovered this week um, for using checkboxes to change the style of an element or a page or even a whole site if you wanted to. You can see here I've got this dark mode title here, and I'm clicking this box called Checkbox here. You notice it changes the dark mode, changes the background to dark, and then the text to light. And when I uncheck it, it puts it back. Now this is using something called a pseudo element. Now the thing that we need to understand here is I'm not using any JavaScript to do this. And so some of the pseudo elements that have been around for a while, and even as they um, improve CSS by adding more, it allows us to do more and more things with just a style sheet in HTML and not have to write a lot of JavaScript to do it. So if we looked at the MDN web docs here, we can say that the checked pseudo class selector represents any radio checkbox or option element that is checked or in a toggle to an on state. So that means that if this is checked, it can tell it what class or how to style something. So let's look at my code here, see how we achieve that. So in here, I've got a box class here that styles that button or that class we were just looking at there. And you can see here, I've got a border color and I've got some variables defined, but this is that orange color that you see around here. And we also have this background color is our light color, which is this kind of off gray, if you can see it on the screen. And when I check this, instead of running this style here, it now says, oh, this is checked here and find a item or an element with the class box and change its styles to these. So it overrides the default style with the new background color and the new color for the text. And you can see here, I'm, I'm referencing the element by ID, and then I hit colon checked, and it says for this element, and if it's checked, for this class, use these styles. And that makes it real easy to maybe toggle a dark mode for a site or anything else. Well, let's look at a more um, concrete example. So. I've got this website here, this blog here, and I've got the Marvel theme. So you can see down here, I've got this red Batman figure here, and I've got my little super dog blog here. And when I click it, it changes the background image from Batman to Spider-Man. And that's done in the same way. So if I go back over here and look at our code here, you can see here I've got a Marvel checkbox checked, and it's modifying this class or this element with class main section. And so in here, you can see the default main section has the Batman as a background image. And on the checked version, it's changing the URL to Spidey, okay? And that's a really powerful way that normally you would think you would have to do this with JavaScript, but indeed you can do a lot of things with these pseudo selector classes. So what I would say, first off, read about this checked in here but also read about the other pseudo classes that you might use. It might trigger something like, I didn't know you could do that with CSS. There's a lot of them out there.